Three balloons. All right, I guess this is the first of like a gazillion highlight wheel highlight reels questions. Um, who who usually wins in in fights with you and your brother? Uh, let your brother say his part in this as well, as well and uh, get to that in a second, buddy. If you and your brother could exchange uh, bu exchange bosses, would you? How much money do you think is enough to survive them for a year? KFC or Popeyes? Are you tired of hearing about Michael Jackson in the media? Media? <laughs> Thoughts on the East what? Easting's theory of re uh, oh Edison's <laughs> theory of, uh, theory of relativity. Uh, would you die for your country? Uh, thoughts on sci-fi changing the name to S Y F Y. Okay, let's tackle the first one. Who usually wins in a fight? Um, I'd have to say my brother because he's bigger. Yeah. You just sit on me, and I would pass out, and like a couple of hours later. What was that show that was on back then on the Discovery Channel? What? Where they had the five, they had fought in different worlds. Oh, what countries. was that? Though? Deadliest? No, it wasn't. That was a cool show, or whatever the hell it was. Well, called. we watched a show where they would fight in different countries, and they'd have to learn the techniques of their kind of rules of their fighting, and we'd go outside and try some of those out just for fun. And then, yeah, I'd usually win, but he'd win like maybe 10% of the time. I won once or twice. Is that the percent? Some type, some type of throwing out of Like one thing's like where you can only use your feet and you're in a ring. You only can use your feet to fight. Yeah. Like you gotta push the guy out of the ring or uh, make him fall yeah. by tripping or kicking. This video's gonna be in a hundred parts thanks to the highlight reel. Okay, uh, if you, if you and your brother could exchange bosses, would you? See, that's an interesting question. Because I generally like people that are mean to your to your face rather than that sly, shitting smile and talk behind your back. My boss is kind of, you know, he'll be mean to your, to your face. He'll call you mf or you know, he'll say you're stupid or something like that. Cody's boss is more passive about it and less out there. And I really like, you know, people just come out and tell me if they don't like me. Uh, I would probably would, though, because payroll situation... Uh, my boss doesn't can't always make payroll, and Cody's boss can. Yeah, I think most ninety percent of the time, hundred percent of the time actually. So my boss can't pay, and that may work yeah. out too if it happened because I I think I'd snap really fast and fight Neil's boss. Yeah. And steal his wallet for payroll. I'm real tolerant. I've thought of things I could steal that would value what I've worked for, and I I decided the way I would take everything was not by its value as in this is a tool that's worth four hundred dollars by its weight and scrap so i just grab all the compressors and say this is fifty dollars you know this is so and so weight you know and just load up a truck and scrap it all or something like that because like you, you know that'd just be hilarious all right other question uh how much do you money do you think it and is enough to survive for you well Probably uh, food wise, uh, food wise, and I guess rent too. You could probably survive for like ten grand a year if you're really frugal. Really, really frugal. Yeah, that sounds about right, doesn't it? If you eat ramen noodles, what is it? Yeah, if you don't have any entertainment in your yeah. life at all, yeah, that that that'd be all right. I mean, yeah, that's what is it, what is it about rent a year, six thousand? Yeah. Yeah. So the rest of the four thousand is for food. Uh, are you driving a vehicle in this scenario? If you're driving a vehicle in this scenario, it'd probably be harder. But if you live in the city, yeah, you could walk or bike. Yeah, if you had a bicycle, you probably could do ten thousand a year. But of course, if you live in the city, you're not going to get no apartment. No. Five hundred. So. Uh, let's see. Uh, are you tired about hearing Michael Jack? Oh, let's see. Uh, KFC or Popeyes? Uh, KFC. I'm just going to go say that, because Popeyes, I would have gone with Popeyes. Popeyes is good, but KFC's skin is so good. But the rest of the chicken's trash. The meat's not as, the meat is dry. 
but the skin, if you just eat the skin, which I just do, <laughs> I'm like Cartman on that uh, episode of South Park. I get all the skin and throw the rest of it. <laughs> it's like, what the beef? <laughs> no, I don't really do that. <laughs> I think I did it a couple times when I was a kid. I just ate the skin. I remember that. Uh, okay. Uh, you used to pluck all the marshmallows out lucky charms. So that's that, annoying. Yeah. Are you tired about hearing about Michael Jackson and me? Yes, I am tired. It's still going on, and this has been a while. Okay, um... Thoughts on Edison's theory Edison. of... Re what is it? <laughs> Edison. Edison! <laughs> Thoughts of Edison's theory of relativity. Uh, it's a great theory. I don't even know what it is. What what is the theory of relativity? God, I don't Therefore know. you are. <laughs> Therefore you are. I don't know. Um, the fact that you people are even watching me is amazing. That complexing. I, complexing. Yeah. Perplexing. Relatively. Uh, relatively. I'm sure I knew it at one point, but Michael Jackson media coverage has fucked it out of my head, and so now I don't. You know, I can't even. I can't even think it. All I can think about is Michael Jackson now. I wake up at the night with cold sweats thinking of Michael Jackson. Because that's all I hear. Uh, would you die for your country? Yes, I guess. Wait, the Obama country or? Probably, you would probably die for past era. Uh, yeah, well, I would still die for this country, I think. Yeah, well, there's a lot of stupid people. In there. I don't know, there's a lot of people I hate. Actually, I... It, it breaks down, would I die for all the people in this country? All the stupid, ignorant people? A lot of people think you're that. So. Yeah, a lot of people think I'm that. So uh, A lot of that people probably... Or would I die for the people I liked? You know, would I die, you know... I guess I would die for everyone, you know. But I would die reluctantly for the stupid people. There we go. Uh, thoughts on the sci-fi changing their name? Uh, I don't really watch sci-fi, so I don't really care. Yay, we're done with one of the highlights reels question pack of ten. Now let's go on to, uh, Ryan12, uh, 511. Do you master debate? Yes, I am a master debater. I'm really good at debating things. I'm a master of it. All right, uh, the highlight reel again. Uh, my God, how many questions did we let him in? Okay, do you think pedophiles deserve the rights? Uh, deserve the right to be on YouTube? Uh, no. I think I know who you're talking about. Theoretically, yeah. That's pretty messed up. See, I haven't seen all the evidence, but from what I hear, it's pretty bad. So, yeah, I don't think he should be on YouTube. Yeah, I'll say that. A lot of my fans are based around that. Now, like, 50 people are going to unsubscribe because I said that. Thanks. But, uh, see, uh, if you died tomorrow, what is the one thing people would say about you that describes you? Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, uh, overweight, <laughs> I don't know, uh, bearded, large collection of guns, um, <laughs> was antisocial, and I don't know, will be missed by my brother and my mother, that's it. Is, is that one word? Uh, one word? Say one word? One thing people would say. Oh. Missed by my mother and my brother, probably. Probably no one else. You're very, Maybe. You're very mechanical with your hands. No, not particularly. I would say that. Okay, thank you. Okay. You can't say one good thing. The highlight reel says like 50 different... The highlight reel says 50 different constants. Favorite brand of soda? Um, I drink soda... Actually, I don't drink... I drink, uh, we call it, uh, seltzer water. 
it it's kind of like soda, like Coca Cola. Has the carbonation. It has carbonation, and it helps me digest like Coca Cola. It's like a burp, at least. But uh, I get the calories. Without the calories, basically, it's pretty good. It gets addicted. The first time you ever taste it, it tastes like shit. Then <laughs> you just drink it more and more, and then you like it. I guess that's what happened with Coca Cola, maybe at first. I don't know. Uh, Co uh, I guess my favorite. I like Royal Crown Cola. Not pe many people. You don't see that a lot. Royal Crown Cola. RC. It's pretty good. But also, uh, Cheerwine. Cheerwine is a great uh, cola. It's kind of like a cherry cola. Uh, 